Geobyte. Hi guys, hope you guys are doing very well. So, I am here with the second chapter of mathematics that is relations and functions. So, what is meant by relations? Relation, the word itself, we can define like uh, the relation. For example, we, the relation we share with our mother, mother-daughter relationship, or mother-son, or sister's relationship, or brother's relationship. Or it can be even student-teacher relationship. Even though I don't see you guys, but I have a relationship with you guys, virtually. So, in mathematics also, we have relations. For example, I can say the number 5 is less than 6. Is that a relationship? Yes. 5 is less than 6. Or, I can say that the line M is parallel to line L. So, are these M and L related to each other? Yes. How? They are parallel. Similarly, from the since previous chapter, we know that for a subset, A from the set B, are they having a relationship? Yes, because subset A is from the main set B. So, for example, I can also give you, mm, okay, red, blue, skirt, Plant. So, how many color objects I can make from this two sets? If this is A and this is B, I can make a red skirt, a red pant, a blue skirt, and a blue pant. So, these are the colored objects I get from these two sets A and B. So, and these are called ordered pairs. I, in mathematical, matic, mathematical form, I can say RS, RP, BS, BP are the ordered pairs. Okay, now I'll come to the definition of relation in mathematics. That is, if there are two non-empty sets, that is P and Q, then their Cartesian product, that is P cross Q, that is the Cartesian product. Then, Cartesian product is a set of or ordered pairs of the elements from P and Q. That is, we'll write it as elements of capital P and capital Q in this form with brackets and these are the ordered pairs. So, that is this form. P cross Q equal to elements of P, Q such that this element is from the set capital P and this element is from the cap set capital Q. So, also we also say, we can also say that if P and Q are null set, that is, P set does not have anything, even Q set does not have anything, then my P cross Q won't be having any elements in it. For example, I can give an example for this. That is, if my P is Delhi, Maharashtra, Maharashtra, And Punjab and my Q is the license plates for vehicles 01, 02, 03. If these are the license plates given to Delhi, Maharashtra and Punjab, then how many ordered pairs I can make from P and Q? P cross Q will be, if I represent as D, 
M and P, then the ordered pairs would be D, 0, 1, D, 0, 2, D, 0, 3. Then M, 0, 1, M, 0, 2, M, 0, 3. And the remaining is Panja. P, 0, 1, P, 0, 2, P, 0, 3. So, these are the ordered pairs. And how many elements I have in this? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine order pairs. Nine distinct order pairs. Now another important thing, thing is my P cross Q is not equal to Q cross P. I'll give an example to show that P cross Q is not equal to Q cross P. Now, we have to show that. I'll show that. P cross Q equal to is not equal to Q cross P. For example, if my P is having numbers 2, 3 and 4 and Q is having R, then what is P cross Q? Have to write the ordered pairs. 2 comma R, 3 comma R and 4 comma R. Now what will be my Q cross P? We have to make sure that this first element is from the first set P always. And Q, the second element is from the second set. So Q cross P will be, my first element will be from Q set, that is R, comma, then my from my P set, that is 2. R comma 2, R comma 3, and R comma 4. Are they equal? No. They are not equal as, they are only equal if the corresponding elements from the sets are equal. So, if I am having a number, number of elements in set P represented by this and Q represented by this, then number of elements or the ordered pairs will be P, Q. Now, this is ordered pairs. Now, what is triplets? If there are three identical thing, then we call it as triplets. So, if I have an element A equal to 2 comma 3, then I can make a A cross P, that is 2 comma 3 cross with itself and A cross A cross B. So, these are called ordered triplets. Now, I will give you another example to understand this concept more. Actually, this is the easiest chapter in mathematics. You can score maximum marks in it. Now, I will give an example. given the sign equal. So that means my ordered pairs are might be equal. Okay. So how to find the x value and y value? If my question is find x and y, how to make them equal? My x plus 1 value should be equal to 9. So that is x equal to 8. 
and my y minus 3 equal to 6 and y equal to So, my x value and y value are 8 plus 1 comma 9 minus 3 that is equal to 9 comma 6. Okay, I will give you another example. If A is Two, three, four, and my B is four, five, six, and my C is seven, five. Then find A cross B intersection C. So, I hope you guys know how to solve uh, this B intersection C. First, always we have to follow board mass rule. What is board mass rule? First, we have to open the bracket and then do the operations division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. We have to always keep this thing in mind. This is very important not only for this chapter. It is important for the entire mathematics because every time when you come up with uh, like two, three brackets, you have to solve according to this rule. So first we have to solve the things which is inside the bracket. That is B intersection C. What is the B intersection C here? That is 5. Only 5 is common in B and C. So my B intersection C is 5. Now, I have to make an ordered pair with A of B intersection C. That is A cross B intersection C is equal to 2, 3, 4 cross 5. And what are the ordered pairs you can make it? That is 2, 5, 3, 5 and 4, 5. So, similarly, there are many examples in your textbooks, which are basically somewhat related to this type of problems. Now, I come to this main topic that is relation. So, relation. I'll... explain like um, Mohanlal, Sharkan and uh, who are your favorite um, actors? I can write Rajini Now, I hope you guys have read match the following in your small classes. Similarly, we are doing relations. It's the same kind of match the following. So, how will you match this? We know Mohanlal, the great actor. He is from which industry? He is from Bollywood industry. That is, he does mainly from, he does mainly Malayalam films. What about Shah he is from Bollywood. And what about Rajnikant? The superstar Rajnikant? He is from Tamil. See? Now it's easy, no? You have made up the relations. Now, this is my relation. This is what I mean by relation of set A and set B. Where set A is the name of the actors 
and B is the language or areas in which they are work, working. So, now, in mathematics, I call this set A as the domain and set B as the codomain. Okay? And all the sets, sets, the elements of the sets, I call it as range. Geobyte.